<laughs> That's what the A-gate looks like on the inside. Oh, wow. That's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Day one is over. Day one was all the digging, the trenching. Looks like they got the, uh, well, here's the panel sitting right here. These are the REC, REC, Alpha Pure 460 something or another. These things are huge. They're massive. As tall as I am. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is a 7 kilowatt system. And they got the base new sub panel. This is the Franklin A gate. And then the panels and the battery are going to be out here. Where you dug the trench. line in the process so we're gonna fix that and in fairness they, they did warn me ahead of time that, that that kind of stuff can happen so let's see where we're at today so here they started running the conduit pipe day two these guys are hard at work these are local solar guys are really really nice man They're on time and just working at it non-stop Mounts are a pain in the butt, guys. So if you're thinking about ordering solar, just know that ground mounts are way harder. <laughs> well, in day two, starting to pour the cement. It's four foot deep. Crazy out here, guys. While we're over here, let's take a look at the inside of the Franklin A gate. It's kind of my first time really seeing it. I saw it briefly yesterday. So that's what the inside of the A-gate looks like. I don't know what any of that stuff does. No idea, not a single idea. Looks really expensive though. And I guess they're putting in a new sub-panel. You guys do a nice job. I can't believe how much of this conduit they've got done already. they're doing how much more they're doing today but they are definitely getting shit done now so that was the pipe that got damaged they fixed that already what's up guys <laughs> inches to 18 inches and they take a lot of concrete uh, those bars go down all the way four feet down and definitely say once this thing is all done those that ground mount ain't going anywhere <laughs> all right well as you guys can see these guys are really knocking it out man uh, just in a day and a half they've gotten all the trenching done all the support the main support poles done and keep in mind uh, those poles go down four feet. Uh, they're four feet deep by, I think it's 12 or 18 inches wide. Uh, it takes a lot of cement to fill that. Um, as far as I can tell, I mean, they probably used over 50 bags of cement. It's just some, I've been watching them dump out bags all, all afternoon. 
Uh, so tomorrow, I mean, they're definitely going to be almost finishing up for the day. I'm pretty sure we only have about maybe one hour of daylight left today, so they're probably going to stop soon. They've been going since 7 a.m., and I think it's probably around 5 p.m. now. Um, so tomorrow they'll come back. They'll be able to finish up the whole frame structure and maybe hopefully start mounting the panels. Uh, if I'm lucky, tomorrow I'll get to see the uh, that Franklin A-Power S battery that I'm very, very excited to get. That should hopefully eliminate my electric bill forever. <laughs> very much looking forward to that. Um, so I'll follow up with you guys maybe tomorrow with the next update. We'll, we'll see, but I'm, I'm assuming they're going to stop soon. All right, so day three, I've already got started. There's the guys. They already cut down all the holes. Might see some panels today. coming together dude those panels look really nice I'm glad I went with those rec panels it's okay I gotta go into work here soon <laughs> gotta go into work here now so I'm about to leave right now uh, I'll, I'll probably won't be back for at least three or four hours I gotta go to San Diego and come back so um, if you guys need to use the bathroom now's a great time um, or if not just keep on trucking y'all are, are killing it this looks beautiful man I just can't believe like it's just how much y'all have done so like how well the panels up today? Yeah. Sure. Uh, the rail, clean it up. Probably recover the trench today. Awesome. Freaking cool, dude. All right. Nice. When are they bringing in the battery? The Franklin. The bear, so it's supposed to be here tomorrow okay. around uh, 2 p.m. Now okay. at the end of day three. And these guys have got a lot done. You see, they got some wiring done in the A gate now. A bunch of little changes out here. Still lots to go. There's the cover for the A gate. It's pretty awesome. I guess that's the inner cover. And then bam, we got solar cells up. They even started sealing up the uh, the trench. But most of that's sealed up. Man, look at this! Wow. Let's go check out the other side. of solar cell wow oh wow that looks beautiful this guy's the beautiful work wow okay i'm a happy camper right now can't wait till we can actually use it um, i don't know how long it'll take to get permission to operate but we're not even there yet still waiting for the battery franklin battery should be here tomorrow the a power s 
I'm assuming the battery is going to go, I guess, right here, like in front of the trench. I'm not sure exactly where they're putting it, but it seems like it makes the most sense to put it right by the trench. So I guess we'll get some more on that tomorrow, but man, I have learned so much about solar in the last few days. And all I can definitely say is if you're getting a ground mount, it is a lot of work. So I confirmed with the guys that were doing the install that they used about 70 bags of cement for this, 70 big bags of cement. That is, that's a lot, that's nuts. But I can definitely say if you're doing a ground mount, they are a shitload of work. Like, and now I understand why ground mounts cost so much more because this has been a, a, a real undertaking for these guys. Like, I'm, I'm really happy to be dealing with Aloha. Like, uh, these guys are just doing an incredible, incredible job. Uh, just, I can't believe we got this far already, man. We're gonna have a battery tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> So, this is now day four, getting all the electrical done. day four they just officially finished the installation a gates all set up solar cells are all set up franklin batteries all set up let's go take a look at that here it is franklin a power s all set up this thing is freaking enormous really huge battery. Uh, oh. Can't believe it, man. Aloha Solar Power for the win. These guys did an incredible job. And should actually be getting the final city inspection done, sorry, county inspection done by uh, next week. And then maybe by the end of next week, I'll be in production. Hell yeah. <laughs> and it looks like they just got themselves another customer, my next door neighbor. <laughs> good work, guys. Good work. All right, guys. So coming soon, my solar saga. You wouldn't believe what it took to get solar on this property. Uh, I started this process in early April of 2024, and now we are in mid-June 2025, and I finally get my solar installed. No fault of Aloha. They're... They're the last company in the mix. I first tried with two different door knocker companies, Semper Solaris and Sunline, and they gave me price quotes that were so outrageous. One of them, uh, Semper Solaris, was trying to mark up a Powerwall 3 from $11,000 to like $32,000. Uh, I basically told them to go to hell. Uh, then I tried to get involved with Tesla Solar, and then they came out and did a site survey and then canceled my order the very next day with no reason. And I'm going to make more videos on this in the future. I'll, I'll probably make an individual uh, video for each different solar company that I dealt with. And then I got involved with Mona Lee Solar, and then they got me into permitting, and then they canceled my order after a year of making me wait. And after all that, I get involved with Mona Lee Solar here. I'm sorry, uh, with Aloha Solar, and they end up, like, I don't know, maybe one month from first contact to installation <laughs> completed. And I'll have my... Uh, I'll have my final inspection done probably next week. I mean, it's just been, it's been quite an adventure. So I'm gonna make some videos for you guys. I'll probably put up this Aloha video first and then do the rest of the Solar Saga after that. But um, hopefully that's worth the wait. That's the, uh, as I said earlier, that's the new Franklin A Power S. This battery is extremely new. Um, Franklin as a company has only been out for a few years, maybe 2019, 2018, something like that. Um, 
They first had the A Power battery, then the A Power 2. This is the A Power S. So this is a fully DC coupled battery. It's so new, it's actually not even on their website yet, and there's almost no info on YouTube. So hopefully, I made the right choice. But all the specs and everything, everything that I needed, that thing does it. And it's better than a power wall in just about every way. And there's no Elon factor, so there's that too. Uh, but anyhow, I'm going to get into all that later. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this has been quite an adventure, quite a large expense, but I'm really happy with the product. These guys just did a beautiful, beautiful job. I can't say enough good things about them. So uh, I guess I'll catch you guys on YouTube. See you later. Peace.